good, y'all? Welcome to the one and only Pinnacle Gaming. Today I have a World War Z walkthrough hashtag guide. This is going to be a guide on episode 2, Jerusalem, chapter 1, brain surgery. I'm joined by my channel partner, Clef, and my good buddy, Wolf. Hey, I'm Clef82. I'm going to be running through it also. Hello, folks. This is No Wolf here. I'm nice to meet all you people from Pinnacle Gaming. I will be assisting them in this guide. Awesome, guys. Well, let's get right into it. I'm going to straight into it. Right now, y'all, I have... um. I am a, currently, my class is a Hellraiser. Uh, Clefs, what's your class? I'm a medic. Okay, Clefs the medic, and then Wolf, what's your class? I am Fixer. I am Prestige 4 on a Mixer. Oh, Alright, y'all, well, this is like a guide slash walkthrough, so we're going to have a lot of tips in here. We're going to be explaining where to put certain things in particular, and, um, you know, uh, we're doing this in a very particular way. I'm going to let Wolf take it away because he's more experienced than both of us. But uh, don't worry, guys, because we're going to chime in here and there. Let's get it. Do keep in mind this. If a lot of the information I will be saying is situational, depending on how the game wants to spawn these defense kits for you. And do keep in mind, folks, that we are going to be at the mercy of the game's AI. Some of it can be manipulated, but a lot of it is we're at the mercy of the game's AI. So, okay, let's see. Tango's dead ahead. Check over here in this area. Sometimes there's a kit or a heavy weapon. Something there's a heavy weapon here. right here. I you want to use it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a... Silent I'm kill three of these zombies. Quiet, quiet lurker. One of the voice characters said lurker is nearby. Yeah, Keep wolf. An eye out for lurker. Okay, so we only got one defense kit already. So for this defense kit, I recommend putting it right around here, or one of them should be right around here. I don't have the defense kit, so I can't see it. Should I put it right here, Wolf? Yeah, any uh, anywhere that's suitable. Um, okay, I found another heavy. Um, oh, it's right here. Right here. Well, is that if anyone wants it? Comes in handy if it, if, if zombies get too close to personal. For claymore placements, I recommend placing them right here, due to the fact that uh, zombie, zombies from behind will show up. And climb over the gate. And then, what I recommend. Yeah, just play more placement over here, that should be fine. And we can just go ahead and start this. Alright, let's start this up. As a tip, reminder always keep in mind where your supply kits are in case you've done it. As a fixer, I have to keep in mind where they are. Oh shoot, let me see. Oh, I can knife him now. Let's see. Oh, the virus is there. That's a new thing. And with boom, the bombers, you always want to kill them as fast as possible. Let's see. Oh, yeah, for bombers, you want to shoot them in the kneecap so you can get whatever items they have. Bulls, you always want to aim for the back, that's the weakest. They can't fuck with us, Wolf. We're fucking these niggas up. Check behind you, they should be popping up behind now. Yep. Yep, they're popping up from behind. Always keep in mind what your characters are saying because they will let you know what what enemies are coming in. And from on the north, from easy to hard difficulty, folks, please do remember to keep an eye on your radar. It'll tell you what zombies are nearby you. So no sneaky Zeeks are going to come from behind and stab you. And if they do, you can put a claymore right here. Boom. There's a bow inbound. I'll just take him off quickly. Reload on ammunition. Need it. 
And then prepare to get and prepare to get going. Okay, so I'll, I'll have an emergency asking grenade for us. Lurker inbound. Oh, so you just use the smoke for a lurker? Yeah, sometimes if you know about you're about to get rushed or jump on from, a, from one of the special zombies like a lurker or a bull, if you, if you throw it down, and you already get attacked, and, and you know you're in the animation, it'll count as like, oh, they never, they never actually jump you. Get back inside. Okay, so we spent enough time in here. Let's go upstairs and upstairs. Exit at the back to Gringotts. Let it be quiet as possible. There's a lurker nearby because of the hissing. So the hissing is the indicator for our lurker? The hissing? Yes. Oh, he's right here. He's right here, y'all. He was right. So when you... You always listen to what your characters say. And then if... And then always the hissing is a clear indicator. Guys, sometimes if y'all want to know where the breach in charge is, sometimes there's a breach in charge that sits right here. Right here where I'm standing. Hey Hunter, do me a favor. Hunter, do me a favor. Uh, we're making a video. Can you hop out of here? That's cool. Oh! Hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. I'll kill him faster. Okay. There's a vial down here. That's from the new DLC update. We'll probably go into more depth about it later. Oh, Lurker right there. He's about to jump. Stop if you jump. Get to the house now. Let's see, there's an item over here. Always look around, folks. You never know what you find. How are the how are the spawning locations for the uh for the breaching charges? Like, how are those? Are those random? Charge, unfortunately, they are extremely random, especially with the uh, patch updates, where they make it much more harder to find. So, it, it's not like. They used to have it where it's like it's always going to be in this one area, but it's not there. Hello? Anybody alive in here? Okay, so right now we got to prepare the area. There's a little cheese spot where you can go to, so you don't have to worry about it so much. And guys, whenever you're here, if you if you're uh, if you're the same class as me, you can throw claymores on the outside, and then you can barricade the doors up like this. So that they get claymored and they can't run from it. And then on top of that, you know, you could put a claymore back here where this back window is. Or this area right here, for example. They also come from here. But right now, today, I'm going to show you folks a nice little key spot where you can easily get through this. Alright, sh show them. Show them off. Alright, one second. I'm gonna place this auto turn down, then we're gonna head all the way upstairs. So, this little area right here is the best place to camp it out. Which area? To the fact, Which area? Hold on one second. Gotta kill that. Gotta kill that screamer right away. Okay. So just head up here, go through this window. And you can just watch this area while while the zombies come through, and, ah. protect, and you can protect Dr. Green Gold this way. And all these zombies will funnel through. Just make sure someone is watching this area right here while the zombies, the zombies will start breaking through. All right, you can watch that area, Clef. I'll watch the window with him. I'm gonna watch the window. A lot with of the times, the creeper will actually. Um, the creeper and the bull will actually just fall off this area. So guys, this is a really good way to cheese this spot. You have one person on position over there, blocking the down there. And then you have one person shooting this side of the window and the other person shooting the other side. It's pretty much impossible for them to get through this window. At least without getting shot a hundred times. 
If you need to change your sight positioning, yep, I like press this. On. My bad, go then ahead. You, then that way it makes it much more easier so you don't hit each other. It seems like Daniel down there is really fine. <laughs> Aim for the head to preserve ammo, folks. Always aim for the head. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, shoot that screamer right there. Keep in mind, folks, this little cheese pot's always good for extreme difficulty. Until the moment you see a bomber, then pray he doesn't come on you. There's kissing going around, so there is a creeper going by. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, it seems we are done. So I'm gonna grab a shotgun for this part. So is it's my personal face. So it's better to have a shotgun in this part? No, it's just my personal face. I'm actually... It's always important to max out your weapons so that you can get the silences on them. Okay, so when you're coming down these stairs over here... I'm coming down. Might want to start going now. Alright, I'm coming down right now. Hit him in the back. Always touch. This spot right here will always have a refill bag area, no matter what. Which part? When you Which? head to the stairs over here. Yeah. If you turn around, there's always a refill. For some weird reason, there's always a refill area for equipment charge. Right there? Always a refill area where that's pinged at right there? Yep. Okay. I always, I always find one. Oh, that's a creeper. Okay, looks like we got a breaking charge. Shame pistol over here. Refill. Let's see. I'm hey. going to breach it. Hey, is it always good to always use your breach charge, or should you use it at specific points? Um, usually you best to use it at the at the fencing areas where you have to defend a location, like a swarm area, like for example. Where you, yeah, where you're guaranteed like a swarm. Like, like let's say you gotta defend an area, it's usually best to use breach charge at that point. Okay. Okay. Always pay attention, look at the zombies on the floor. If they pop up red on your hit marker, that means that's a zombie you gotta kill, or else they'll get up and start attacking. A lurker nearby. Now we can leave this area and head to the next spot. Gotta move a little bit faster now, since so we can just alert all the zombies that were here. Keep a tight group. Now we gotta look for the briefcase. Gotta reload. You need to refill on ammo, go ahead and do it now. Boy, y'all. Oh, There's some of these zombies out, so when we go pitch, not a deal. Okay. I think that's all of them. Just gotta look for the briefcase. Up here. Usually the briefcase will spawn in, t in usually one or two locations in the hospital. Show us the, 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 the location. What do you What did you say? Repeat that one more time. The briefcase, the briefcase will usually pop up in this area. Oh, I hear a bomber. Watch out. 
Gotta move a bit. Yeah, guys, you don't want to do what I just did and run right into the bomber. You don't want to do that. I just did that to protect them, but you don't want to do that. That wasn't uh, the smartest thing to do. You and might want to leave now for that because the screen starts screeching more. We'll come back to uh, another point again to review. There is a creeper nearby. Bumper to that claymore will take care of him. Run upstairs as fast as you can. Alright, now for the next part. This part gets a little bit crazy, and is that a bull already? Oh, bye, Daniel. Yeah. Daniel? Okay, I recommend putting claimers over here for this part because zombies will pop up from behind and we gotta protect the helicopter. You usually have one person stand over here and look at this area so they can clear those zombies out where we have people take care of them, take board. That's common for the helicopter. If someone gets a chance that they can open that right there. All right, time to start moving up. You need any new weapons? Grab. Good Tier three weapons are usually better, but they will kill the zombies much more faster. Yo, heal me, heal me, Clef. Can you heal me real quick? Zombies will usually when you get to this part. Zombies will usually spawn here. It's best to take this them out as many as you can. And then start moving to the next area. Did I successfully heal you, Lebo? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the heal. Yo, yeah, that's the first time that I actually used the uh, uh, stim thing to heal, so I was wanting to make sure I did, actually did it right. Can I clear the helicopter? Guys, whenever you kill the hazmats, you gotta run away from the area because that smoke will kill you. And there is a creeper lurking around here. Lurk over here. Whoa. Where the hell did that lurker just go? I guess he despawned. Okay. Yo, he just jumped over me. He jumped over me. Did you see that? Alright, go ahead. Always remember, if you ever see a flare gun, flare guns are the most OP weapons in this game. They attract zombies. So for this part, you want to set up claymores in these areas. Because the zombies will climb up from these areas and will attack you. This part gets more difficult due to the fact that there's a lot, there are multiple entries for the zombies to come at you. So the best thing to do, you think, is for everybody to cover to cover an entrance? Like one person yes. cover this entrance, one person cover that one, and one person cover that one. Whoever's the yep. slasher. Whoever's the slasher, I recommend you take this area. I'm used to using the slasher class more. But whoever's the slasher should use that area. Whatever, whatever class you need, the most important thing is you have to you have to survive this part. Somebody cover my back. I repeat, somebody cover my back, please. I'll try the best I can. If you need a masking grenade, I will throw one down for you. Good looks, good looks. Try to shoot the horde before they start climbing in. Whenever you got, guys, whenever you shoot a, a horde's climbing up, you shoot them from the bottom. From the bottom first, and it breaks up. Oh, bomber! Shoot him in the knees! Shoot him in the knees! Damn it. It was too late. It already started beeping. Clef, cover this spot. Cover this spot on ping. Aim for their head. Just literally spam their head. Tap, tap their head. Tap, tap, tap. Right on their forehead. Just tap, tap, tap. If they get through, knife them and then tap, tap, tap. Right on the forehead. Take down the ball. 
Guys, there's a bull that's coming. He's right here. Are flamethrowers effective against uh, bulls? Uh, flamethrowers, any flame, any type of flame weapons are very good against any special effective due to flames do a lot of damage. They're very okay. And time to get out of here. Always complete the mission and try to get out of here as fast as possible. Let's get it. We did it, y'all. We did it, Clef! Did it! Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. Our time on this video has finally came to a close. I want to thank y'all for joining in on this guide. It is now officially over. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and make sure to hit that little bell icon so that every time we come up with a video, you are notified. Thank y'all for coming, and have a good day. Peace.